This is the ultimate guide to get you up to speed with using Falk. She's part of the support class specialist, so her role on the battlefield is to heal, revive and resupply teammates. To help her do this, she has access to these gadgets, the smoke launcher, the ammo crate, the medic crate and the M18 claymore. When using Falk, these are the gadgets I'd recommend you personally use. Starting off, we've got the ammo box. Obviously, it's in the name, ammo. You know, you can resupply yourself, resupply teammates of both their primary, secondary ammo, gadgets, and also their grenade slots. And the smoke launcher is there. If you don't want to take the ammo box, you can throw smoke down from the launcher to be able to sort of heal, uh, revive, sorry, teammates out in the open. Provide a bit of cover as well to allow you to flank enemies and also block enemy lines of sight. So, they, you know, it makes it harder for them to see you and your team. I wouldn't really take the medical crate as Falk has access to the S21 Serete pistol, which is a healing pistol that you permanently have. You know, it's her main ability and it allows you to heal yourself and heal teammates over long distances. Keeping up with the smoke theme, we've gone to the grenades and the only option really is the smoke grenade. Like I mentioned earlier, it helps you provide cover for reviving teammates out in the open. It blocks enemy lines of sight. This allows you to flank and you know shoot enemies in the back capture objectives get out of spawn traps that kind of thing when using it though try not to block your teammates lines of sight so like don't like throw it on top of you especially when reviving teammates try and throw it like in front of the person that's down so at least that way then you know the teammates that are behind you can still kind of cover you so if any enemies push for the smoke they can still sort of shoot the enemies instead of the enemies being able to run through the smoke so sort of maybe run past you and then just pop out and shoot your teammates and kind of make it all a bit messy Moving on to weapons, now you might be thinking, well, if Falk's part of the support class specialist, you know, that proficiency has access to the faster draw speed for SMGs. But at the moment, since SMGs are kind of in a bad spot overall, especially with their headshot multiply getting nerfed to 1.25 times, you know, it's not, no, there are better options from other weapon categories, especially the assault rifles. But some of the SMGs that I'd recommend at the moment that are still kind of viable is the PP29, the AC9, and the mp29 now i did mention obviously assault rifles some do have like higher rpms that are on par with other smgs and then combined with the headshot multiplier that the assault rifles have it can make it a really good choice so the assault rifles i'd recommend for sort of close quarters engagements which you'll primarily be playing as falc since you know medic on the front line is the m5a3 the acwr the AM40, especially when it's fully sort of equipped with all the attachments it has available to it, and then the MTAR. These are all weapons that I found works really well, and I've tried them all on the battlefield recently, and I found them all viable, especially on game modes and maps that are really close quarters and sort of you know have loads of big choke points. I found like these weapons work really well. Now, if you are looking to reach tier one with Falk, she is one of the more easier specialists to do this on, since all it requires is for you to either revive or heal teammates with the S. 21 serrated pistol and i do recommend linear game modes such as breakthrough as this kind of groups both teams in close proximity you know so a lot of people are dying really close by and you can just go about reviving healing that kind of thing and like i said focus on the healing and reviving part and you'll get it done quicker but i have found the fastest game mode is definitely like the rush xl when it comes up in rotation to play for the week since it's 128 players on really narrow maps it's absolute carnage it's just grenade spam left and right you know you're getting blown up randomly every two seconds but Eric serves everybody else on your team so you can get really good revive streaks going revive trains healing people left and right and I find that really sped up the process so when rush XL is available or like another I think there's like a breakthrough version of this as well where it's 128 players if either of those are available just jump on and you'll be able to get it done to wrap up this video these are some key felt tips to take away you can't revive everyone. This is something I really struggle with and I just want to go about and, you know, revive everybody I see. But sometimes you have to leave people, especially if there's like enemies pushing your position and that person's out in the open. And, you know, it might be better for you to survive, fall back and allow your squad to spawn on you or especially reposition because like you'll just die either way and then that's kind of two tickets gone if you get the guy revived and that kind of thing. Sometimes, you know, they might be out in the open as tanks about or, you know, you're not the last one on the objective. You know, but sometimes it can be better, you know, in that in that sense to go for the revives and kills. You know, I did mention like, you know, capturing or defending the objective. Sometimes I've been on the objective and it's like the last one of the, like, sound breakthrough. And it's the last one, you know, we're about to win the game, uh, capture the objective. And then all of a sudden, quite a few enemies push. But there's a quite a few, you know, down teammates around me. If I just revive them, it can swing the 
sort of percentage of players in our favour on the point, and then we can start capturing and we win the game. Same for defending, you know, people have clutched up before, revived a load of people, and they managed to push the enemy back off the objective. So sometimes, you know, you do have to kind of judge it. And kind of, you know, it, it, this comes with all, like, the more you play, the more you can kind of get a feel and be able to judge a lot better. You know, it's all trial and error, but the more you do it, the better you'll become. Always be throwing down ammo and healing where possible. Especially ammo, I see it all the time on, like, social medias, like Reddit, Twitter. People are saying nobody throws ammo down. So, if, I, and I do this, just throw the ammo down and you get so many points from this because not many people do it. So, if you just throw it down after, like, you know, if you've sort of just ca started capturing a point, throw ammo down points everybody's happy you know you're getting points xp they're getting ammo especially if you see a lot of engineers engaging enemy vehicles obviously they can only have so many shots in their rocket launchers so throw it down you know they're happy they can get some more ammo in their rocket launchers and it helps you out as well since that's one less enemy vehicle on the battlefield just to farm you and kill kill you and your team and like i've mentioned earlier in this video smoke is your best friend it's one of the best grenades in the in the game and you might be thinking how's that you know it doesn't explode but with smoke, like I said, you can block on enemy, enemy lines of sight, revive teammates, and you know get really good flanks off. And you can kill more enemies with a flank than a grenade ever could in one go. So, you know, make sure you're running smoke. It will help a lot. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you want to sort, see more sort of guys like this with the other specialists, make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more for the support class, all the other classes, and general guides as well for each one coming in the future as well as weapon breakdowns and much more for this channel for current and past Battlefield games. But yeah, until the next one, have a good one.